Alrighty, good evening everybody. Welcome to Weiss High School for some UIL playoff basketball on Vibe Live. My name is Jack Farrell and we've got the by district round ahead of us. And the matchup tonight will be the Anderson Trojans and the Pflugerville Panthers. Anderson, of course, the winner of District 17 and Pflugerville, the fourth place team. All right, sorry about that. We're just trying to get everything set up here. The stream is not wanting to connect on our end. Sorry about that. It should be good to go here from now on, though. So, yes, moving forward, yeah, looking forward at these schools. Uh, a couple of those matchups that we mentioned have already taken place. Uh, we had McCallum versus Maynard. McCallum beat Maynard in that one, 56 to 39. And Weiss uh, knocked out Lockhart earlier. They won that by 18 points, 62 to 44. Looks like the Hendrickson and Crockett matchup has still not been rescheduled with all of this nonsense that's been going on this week and right now. But uh, that should be still played sometime this week. For now, we are about five minutes away from the opening tip-off here at Weiss in the Wolf Den for a neutral site one. And for Anderson, it's been leading up to this for a while. Once the season really got going, as in when Anderson got its full roster healthy and present, it became clear that this team might really be able to... We'll see. We're, ha see. We're having a hard time um, getting connected. I'm back up now. Hi, everybody. Not sure everything that you were able to or unable to hear, but we are, we're about a minute away now. I'm back online, at least. Hopefully this will hold for a bit. So yeah, uh, we are just about a minute here. Anderson getting ready to go against the Pflugerville Panthers in this by district round. Should be an exciting matchup here. The fourth place team from District 18 and the winner of District 17 coming together at his Anderson with the victory in their district. Pflugerville coming up in fourth place, but they are here in Weiss, also in Pflugerville, Texas. We should be good to go in just a minute here, but for now we're going to go ahead and do the national anthem so we're going to go ahead and throw it to the pa for that and then we will be right back to start the game
The third runner for the Olympics and the Trophy, number one, incomplete, Nick Carroll. Number five, incomplete, Jack Clayton. Number seven, Well, I don't think we're connected at all, but we're going to go ahead and try the broadcast anyway because there's nothing I can really do about that. And the opening tip is going to be won by Anderson. It's Mike Wagner recovering it. And here we go for the by-district round. Anderson will have first possession. They get it into Benito Black inside. He loses it going in. So the first possession for the Anderson Trojans will be a turnover. Driving inside and missing the layup on the other end is TJ Jones. Wagner is able to recover it and push ahead for Anderson. Austin, now back to Wagner. Get it into Austin. He looks at a three, but instead he's going to pass it into Harris. Harris to Wagner. Wagner lost it. So a sloppy start for Anderson. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that is a chase down block on the other end from Jaden Austin. Looking like LeBron James on the other end. And here's Francis all the way. Lays it up. Can't get it to go, but he gets his own. Pushes. Can't hit. Benito is there. He cleans it up and lays it in. My goodness. What a beginning to this game. Anderson wearing their blues tonight. Pflugerville rocking the whites. They get it inside. It's going to lead to a deep look, and that's going to be no good. Rain Chavez couldn't connect for on the long three. And our first minute to go here. Anderson uh, leads by two. The Karras can't finish inside. Now back around, here's Valls. Mitchell has it up top for the Panthers. With it outside, that's Sahir Vara. And over is Ashton Mitchell on the right side now. Panthers will reset, they're gonna take it slow. TJ Jones with it up top. Now Vara. Pflugerville taking it very slow. And as we know, Anderson does not like to allow that perimeter attack. Chavez looking to launch from downtown. Anderson cuts it off. Here's Mitchell. He's going to drive baseline. It was cut off. Now back to Chavez. He's going to look for a three with the left. No good. That one went in and out. That's going to go out of bounds off of Pflugerville. Anderson ball. So here we go. We'll settle down into it a little bit now. Under two minutes have been played so far. We're down to 540. Wagner almost lost it. He's been a little iffy with the ball here early. Francis tried to pass it into Black, and that's just taken right away. Flugerville going to get out and run, but taken away by Benito Black. Here come the Trojans. They have numbers three on two. Back to Jack. Pass into Nick Harris. His shot's blocked, and that's going to go out of bounds off of Flugerville. 
No, they're going to say it's a jump ball. It looks like the official couldn't, uh, couldn't tell, so the jump ball will send it back to the Panthers either way. Looks like um, connecting a little better. Video is still going to be a bit rough, but audio should be a little bit more clean, so we'll try and make it a, a bit of a radio thing until the video is all the way back. So with it checking in is Mardarian Burns. Now into the corner, that's Vols. Over here's Chavez. He's already gotten a couple of looks at the three-point line. Here's Mitchell. He's going to attack the baseline. Tough runner is no good. Rebound to Harris. Nick gets it to Jack. Into hit, cutting to the lane, and Nick can't hit the layup. But and that's going to be a whistle on him underneath, trying to get that loose ball. So not a lot of offense here in the early going, but we've seen that from Anderson time and time again this year. Just a, a, a clunky start on the offensive end to begin things. See if they can get under control a little bit. As we are about halfway through the first quarter, it's still two to nothing. Jack almost got a hand on that to get the steal, but here's Burns inside. Almost walked with it, but they get it out to Mitchell. And now inside running the baseline is Vols. He's going to try and turn and spin his way into the post. It's no good. Burns gets the rebound, and he's able to find Chavez, who's going to take it from downtown again, and he's 0 for 3. And that looks that ball hit the stanchion, so Trojan ball. Harris gets the inbound into Wagner. Trojans on the offensive end. Now Francis with it on the right wing. Dribbles passes to Wagner, who finds a nice cut from Black, and he gets the second basket of the night for Anderson. Benito's got four. Pflugerville now trails 4-0. And that one's taken away. Loose ball. It's corralled by Burns. And that's going to be a foul. They're going to get Jaden Austin trying to go over the screen there. Mitchell going to be there on the inbound. They get it in. Mitchell's going to attack, go all the way to his left, and he throws it up with the right. He can't get it. But there underneath with the rebound is Jones, and Pflugerville finally gets their first basket of the game. Now across, it's going to be stolen. So a turnover here. Mitchell running the other way for Pflugerville. He thought about the pull-up and said he's just going to pass back. And attacking all the way, throws it up, and that is good. So tie game on the Felipe Vols runner. Anderson got a plate more under control here. Is they're turning the ball over a lot here in the first quarter. And here's Wagner. He's going to drive baseline. That'll open things up for him. They get it back. Now here's Nick Harris from downtown. That's no good. Ball goes over the backboard. That'll be out of bounds. So tie game here in the early going. We're through our first five minutes of action, and it's tied for a piece. Mitchell driving all the way to the right, and he throws it in and loses it. It's stolen away by Black. Keel is with it up in the front court. First check into the game here, and he goes up and under. He can't finish, but Jack is there on the tap back. Jack Francis, first basket of the night. Anderson has their lead back at 6-4. Now here he is, T.J. Jones in the corner, defended by Keel. Now back here is Vols, and now they're just going to reset up top. Mitchell with it on the wing. He gets it inside. Here's Vara. They kick it to the corner. Vols going to attack the baseline. He's going to have to go up with it, try to get it to Vara, but Wagner is there on the steal. It's two on two, now three on two. Over to Keel. Keel's going to go all the way up with it. That is going to be a blocking foul. Some Trojans, or er, some free throws coming up for the Trojans. Two fourteen remaining here in the first quarter. Got some fans in the stands here. I guess Fleurville ISD's got a couple different rules regarding this sort of thing. As Keel can't connect on the first free throw. Anderson can kind of struggle from the free throw line at times as a team. As the next man off the bench is going to be Marlowe.
as Keel's going to go 0 for 2 from the line. So it'll go the other way. Trojans lead. But Pflugerville with the ball. Burns goes up with it, a little pull up. It's no good. Rebound taken down by Sam Ochsner. But it's taken by Keel, and he'll slow down as he moves into the front court. He gets it into Black. Benito Black is going to go up with it by himself. No good. He can't get the rebound, and it'll go the other way. Looking for his third bucket of the, uh, the first quarter. Couldn't come up with it. Got him in the air, but they get it to Jones. And Jones, good defense from Wagner, but Burns is there. Keel tried to rip it away, and that's going to be a foul. So we'll have free throws here. It's just the, that's the already the third team foul against Anderson. Pflugerville just has the one so far. That one's good for Mardarian Burns. Burns goes two for two, knots the game up at six. Francis, he's going to pull from downtown. That's good and one, Jack Francis. Four-point play right away. That's a big bucket here for Anderson, who had been struggling on offense. Opens up the four-point play for them. With that three-pointer, Jack is up to five. And he makes the free throw, so that's six points here in the quarter for Jack Francis. Anderson has broken double figures. They lead 10 to six as he converts the four-point play. Mitchell, he gets it back up top here is Burns. Now over to Jones, working around the perimeter. They get it to K.J. Barry, who's in the game for the first time. Mitchell's going to attack the paint, go up with it. Tough runner is no good. Burns gets the rebound. Anderson struggling early to rebound. He goes, he misses. Francis gets the long rebound off the bounce. He's going to launch it ahead to Keel. Keel goes up with it like a wide receiver, goes behind the back, goes up, loses it. Right to Benito Black. His floater is good. So two scores doing all the scoring for Anderson in the first quarter. Black and Francis both got six as Langley gets up to check in for the first time in the game. Pflugerville going to hold for the final shot as they trail by six. So Mitchell just going to work his way around the perimeter here as we wind down this first quarter. He attacks to the right, goes up. Jumped in the air, got it out to the three-point line. Barry's shot is no good. That hits the floor. Francis out on the rebound. Jones gets it, but Marlowe is there to recover. So Keel, and now Anderson will hold for their final shot because we've got 10 seconds left here in the quarter. Down to eight. Francis with it. He finds Wagner. Wagner going to drive baseline. Back to Keel. Steps back into the corner from downtown. He's got it. Gross Keel capitalizing on that open look from Wagner, and that's how you end a quarter. Gross Keel from downtown puts the Trojans up nine to end this first one. We've got a good game going so far. Anderson leads 15 to six at the first break. We'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Silly pulls up the corner, rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my god, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one! Log on to VipeVYPE.com. Vipe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vipe Live does more than sports? Vipe Live does band recitals. Academic events. For more information on how Vipe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Back in from the quarter break, as we will have a turnover to start things for Anderson. 
still struggling a little bit with the stream here. Just not uh, not connecting too well out here today. Of course, the, uh, the first time it's going to happen all season would be in round one of the playoffs. But for now, just going to do our best here as Anderson leads 15 to 6 after the first quarter. Burns with it outside. He had one in the first quarter. Or he had two in the first quarter. He had two free throws. TJ Jones with it up top. Also had a bucket in the first quarter. He had two. Sam Oxner on the wing. Picked up by Austin. Let's check back in for the start of the second. Mitchell. He's going to drive in, get to the basket. Instead, he's going to kick to the corner. Barry from downtown. He's got it. Oh, here we go. Jack Francis with it up top for the Trojans. Austin into the corner. Jack trailing, and that's going to be an illegal screen going against. No, they're going to get him for a travel. I thought, if anything, it was a screen on Langley. So wave that off. Hit Jack hit the basket. They're going to say he traveled, though. So here we go. Lugerville with possession. They trail by six. Now driving over on the right side. It's Burns up top to Barry. Just connected from downtown on the last possession. Mitchell goes up with it. His runner's no good. Jack comes down with the rebound. And that's going to be a, uh, a, a foul on the steal for Ashton Mitchell. I think that's the fourth team foul going against Pflugerville in this first half. Trojans lead by six with possession. Oh, and I think uh, based on what I'm seeing in the gym, it looks like the Crockett game might be taking place right after this. But inside to Keel, and he can't get it, but he tries to pass to Langley. Langley wasn't ready for it. That's going to go out of bounds. We'll get Nick Harris back into the game after that, so it'll be Francis Black, Austin, Harris, and Keel. It's 15-9 here, two minutes gone in the second. Mitchell, screen comes from Burns. He's going to attack. He said he's going to go back. Oxner is going to take it from downtown. That's no good. Rebound into Austin. Strong board. And that's going to be a foul going on Barry trying to reach in. That's twice they've done that now. Six minutes still half. Francis with the ball. Austin with it, he drives in, goes up with the floater, and that's going to be a foul underneath. So two shots for Jack, Fra or excuse me, it'll be Austin on the free throws. Foul's going to go against Oshner. Austin's free throw knuckleballed that one a little bit. It's no good. Keel's going to check out. Wagner's back. Jaden's still looking to get on the board here. And he goes 0 for 2. Anderson struggling from the free throw line. We've seen that all season. As a pass leaked ahead, here's Chavez. We know he likes to pull it from downtown. TJ Jones works it around. Mitchell behind the head pass. He gets it to Jones. Here's him for 3. No good. Rebound into Black. Wagner pushes ahead. He gets Jack fading to the corner. He gets it inside. Everyone forgot about Nick Harris. Easy lay for Nick. First points of the game. It's 17 to 9, so Anderson lead up to 8. Here's Valls with it. He had uh, two points, and that's going to be a cut that Sam Oxner uh, was not supposed to make. So that'll be a turnover, some miscommunication on the offensive end, and we will have a Pflugerville timeout. That'll be their first of the game. We'll keep it here. Looking ahead here at the um, the bracket here. If uh, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly about what the Crockett team looks like from the two times that we saw them, they are uh, 
they're here in the gym, and unless they're fans and want to watch, I would think their game is going to be maybe played after this one because I'm looking at the, the schedule here on the UIL bracket, and that game's still not been scheduled. And um, actually, with the winter weather, the, the, the area rounds were supposed to be played today and tomorrow, but now we're still doing by district, so we'll see what the schedule looks like. Uh, but for now, the winner of this game, and we're still pretty early here, and it's not time to be thinking about the victor, but the winner of this one will go on to face the winner of Lake Creek and A&M Consolidated, the, the house that Alex Caruso built. And we'll get you the time on that uh, if we need to. But for now, we are back out of the timeout. Anderson with possession off of the Weiss turnover. And here we go. Nick Harris with it. He's doubled, and this is going to be taken right away. Here's Ashton Mitchell racing into the front court all by himself. He lays it in. That's the, that's the one thing Anderson really can't afford to do is just give them free baskets. Everything else they're doing pretty well right now. Wagner. He's going to fake the handoff to Francis. Instead, it'll go out to Black. Black's going to take it into the lane himself. He'll go up. Can't get the runner to go. Gets his own board. Goes up outside to Austin. Austin, tough three is no good short. Rebound Harris. He's going to go up with it. He's fouled. He lays it up. And one. <laughs> Nick Harris finishing through contact once again. He'll head to the line for two. The free throw is no good. As Jones is going to take it all the way to the basket. Bumps Francis. Francis gets the rebound after the Jones miss. Anderson pushing ahead. Here's Benito. He's going to take it back outside. He's stuck in the corner. He'll have to get it back up to Francis before the double team can come. Crossover into the lane. Jack lays it up. Can't get the runner to go. He gets his own rebound, but he's fouled. So Anderson now starting to get some of those loose balls. So Francis heads back to the line. He did hit one of the, the free throw that he had for the four-point play. So Jack's been the only one that's actually hitting his free throws as he misses the front end of the one and one there. And they're going to get him now on the loose ball foul. That's just the fourth team foul going against Anderson. And they are now already in the bonus for themselves. So we saw Francis missing the front end of that one and one. Back outside, T.J. Jones. Wagner got a hand on that pass to Chavez. Now here's Ashton Mitchell. He's trying to get it in to Burns. It's not there. They'll pass it back outside. Here's Barry. Now over to Chavez. Chavez tries to shake Black. He won't be able to, but Mitchell got around Wagner. Wagner hacked him, and he got the layup to go. So that layup cuts it down to six. Free throw's good, too. Leads down to five. Here's Wagner. Gets it ahead to Harris. Wagner. He, double team's going to come. They leave Harris open. Now Austin's wide open in the corner, and you can't do that. If you're going to double, you got to make sure you don't leave a shooter open in the corner, and that's exactly what they do. Jaden Austin doing a good job to make him pay. The lead's back up to eight for the Trojans, and Pflugerville is going to call another timeout. We'll take a break with them. You're listening to Trojan Basketball on Vibe Live. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game, and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. All righty, folks, in after the timeout, it will be Panther basketball. 
as here is Mitchell racing into the front court. He puts his back into Wagner. He's going to try and cross up Harris. Harris played some good defense and forces a tough runner. Mitchell tried to get the rebound, and that's going to be a foul as Harris splits the double team. That's a good move from Nick Harris to get some free throws. Got three guys reaching in. He drove into all three of them. Picked up the foul. That's crafty. So Nick's headed to the end to get his, to get his foul shots up. Trojans lead it by eight. Nick Harris can push it to double figures. Should be the largest of the night for Anderson. They live, they've led by nine. But Nick's going to have to make both free throws to make it ten. So that first one is no good. It rattled around for a second and fell out as Burns brings it up for the Panthers. Inside, Pflugerville. Jones misses the fader. And he gets it to Keel, who passes ahead to Wagner. Pass back. Keel almost dragged his pivot foot there. Would have been a travel. And he's able to save it. Three minutes remaining here in the second quarter. It's 22 to 14. Francis back to Wagner. He's going to attack the paint. Pull back. Austin again from downtown. He can't make this one. And Harris taps the rebound back. Keel gets it. He saves it to Wagner. Wagner gets it into Francis. That's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Jones. So it'll stay here. Some good play from the Trojans on that possession. Making those hustle plays to create more possessions for themselves. As they get it into Keel. Keel, easy look at the basket, and he lays it in. Second basket of the game for Gross. He's got five. Leads up to ten now. Pflugerville. Barry with it up top. Now they're working it around. Range Chavez, he's going to pull from way downtown. He can't connect off the front of the rim. K.J. Barry gets it on the rebound, and that's going to be a blow. Oh, that's going to be a charge. They, uh, they, 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 went, they went with the theatrics there. The refs are trying to put on a, a little bit of a show, too. They call it charge. Ball's back to Anderson. And we'll have a quick sub here. And, of course, um, just want to mention, on offensive fouls, you don't get free throws, no matter what, even if you're in the bonus. That's why Anderson doesn't get free throws here. Here's Harris. Two minutes left here in the half. Back to Jack Francis. Wagner on the right wing. Looks for a flashing keel. Instead, he's going to take Francis cutting to the basket. He's pushed out to the baseline, though. And they're going to reset here. Now back, Nick Harris, pump fake. Going to take it all the way to the basket. Got Keel to the corner. Keel saved it somehow to Wagner. And that sets up Wagner to attack the paint. Kick to Nick Harris for three. No good. And that's going to be out of bounds. That looks like it might have been off of Pflugerville. That's a blue ball, I think. Yes, sir. That's a good call. Langley's checking in. Jaden Austin. He's going to head to the bench. We'll see the inbound play here. Minute 39 left. Let's see on the scoreboard up here. Cutting Langley. They get it to Harris. Nice play. And they had to hack him to get him to the foul line. But Nick's been struggling to make him pay from the free throw line. It's been a, they've had a tough going of it so far. Pretty much everybody. I think they've only hit one free throw. And they've had their, they've had their chances. But now double bonus going forward for Anderson. First free throw. Hey, got it. Five points for Nick. Largest lead of the night anytime Anderson scores going forward here. It's 11 now, and now it's 12. Once again, largest lead of the night for Anderson today. It's 12. As Mitchell's going to attack, he's going to push all the way to get it back to Chavez. And Keel, that's going yeah, to be a foul. It's a tough play. Try to get the gamble on the steal, but... Ran pretty much straight into Mardarian Burns. Benito Black. To check back into the game. Nick Harris going to head to the bench after knocking in those two free throws. Three Anderson players with six. So here's Mitchell. Some fell asleep, and then he made the layup harder on himself. He had a free lane to the basket. And he tried to do like an up and under thing, and it missed it. So, yeah, Nick Harris, Jack Francis, and Benito Black all have six. Keel with five and Austin with three. We're going to see a much shorter um, rotation, a much longer bench. Only a 
Not going to see all the guys that would normally get into a game here. He might cut it down in a playoff game in a tight scenario like this one. As here's Keel, like, got him for a travel. Might have chopped his feet just a little bit. It's a bit of a tough whistle there, but Anderson still with a 12-point lead with just over a minute remaining here. Here's Burns with it out on the wing. They get it to Chavez. He's looking to shoot every time he gets it. And it doesn't matter if he's out there. He's still going to have to get up on him. And now they're going to get <laughs> pretty much the same call. This guy standing there, I guess he uh, guess he moved his feet a little bit. I, of course, cannot see as close as the officials can. So I hate to comment on something I don't know about. But Francis loses it, and they're going to get a foul going against Harris. Jones got the steal. That's just the that's the sixth team foul going against Anderson, though. Well, that is the seventh, so it looks like, yep, looks like Pflugerville will be shooting. Austin's back in, so it's the starters in right now in the last minute of the game. Free throw's good. TJ Jones, he's got three now. Anderson lead is 11 with 52.4 remaining here in the half. So Anderson in the double bonus. Pflugerville just now getting into the bonus as they have been pretty much lights out from the free throw line, whereas Anderson has not been. Wagner makes it across. The screen comes from Black. He doesn't need it. Here's Francis. Francis drives to his right. Crosses over. There's 30 seconds left in the quarter now. The screen comes. Back to Wagner. To Black. Under 20. Wagner back at the logo. Ten seconds left. They get it to Francis on the outside. Chavez is the one defending. He crosses over. Now crosses back. He's going to attack the paint, get all the way in, and that's going to be a blocking foul. So free free throws to Jack Francis on the blocking foul. They're in the bonus. So these free throws are extra free. It's going against Pflugerville once again. There's 4.7 seconds remaining here. So in the double bonus, Jack will shoot two. He's got six so far in the game. Can't make it. Bennett Blackerby has checked into the game for the first time in the waning seconds here of the quarter, of the half. As Jack goes one for two here. Seven points for him. And Anderson will have 27 points as we end the half here unless something crazy happens. He gets it in. Here's Jones. They get it back. Burns over to Mitchell. He's going to take the deep three, and he can't connect. Halftime. <laughs> so with that, let's go ahead and look at our scores. Nick Harris, six points. Gross Keel with five. Benito Black with six. Jack Francis led them all with seven. Jaden Austin bringing up the rear here with three. Four, Pflugerville. Ashton Mitchell led all scores. He had five. K.J. Berry. Knocked down a triple. T.J. Jones had a couple free throws and a basket. He had four.
Back outside. What? They're saying I have no audio? Audio showing up on my stream. That's going to be an offensive foul. They're going to get Vara on it. They get it in. Here's Wagner. Here's Harris. Gets the move. He gets all the way to the basket, lays it up, and that's going to be a foul. Are we getting audio? Hopefully we're getting audio. Well, my audio is uh, it's showing up okay, but uh, I'm getting word that I might not have audio right now. Huh. Well, they're saying it's back, so we did it. Whatever I did, I did it. First free throw. Hey, my points at the half were, were right. We do need to stop missing free throws. And Nick Harris does just that. He goes two for two. All that, Anderson now leads by 10 again. 5.27 left here in the half. As Mitchell's going to attack the paint, try to go up on Langley. They get it to Chavez. He's going to try the three-pointer again. It's no good. He's having a hard time tonight. Francis gets it, falling to the ground. Passes it off to Harris, who passes it ahead of Austin. Down into Langley. Langley lost it, and they're just going to have to pull it back out. Nick Harris going to step back for a three. No good. Rims out. Austin is there on the follow. He can't connect. Rebound batted around. Langley has it, and that's a foul underneath going against Pflugerville. There's some great team rebounding right now in the third quarter from the Anderson Trojans. Follow after follow. Can't get anything to go. Both teams now with three personals. Both coaches with four timeouts remaining. Anderson with a 10-point lead. They get it to Harris. He's going to head back to the line. So this has just been a, a messy, messy night, <laughs> both in the game and on the stream with audio and video issues. Hopefully we'll be able to keep it moving now. But hey, there's Nick Harris making street, three straight free throws after having a tough go of it from there last half. Leads back up to 11. And there it is at 12. 33-21. Mitchell. And they're going to get Francis on the foul on the box out. So it'll be white ball. Keel's going to come in. They're going to get Francis out. Probably a good sign just... Let him cool off a little bit. He's been the victim of some uh, some calls here lately. He's also probably now into foul trouble. That is his third. And now here we go. So looking for someone to get it into. He's able to find Burns. He's with it out on the perimeter. Now Jones. No one's going to attack the basket. He gets the floater to go. So with Francis on the bench, we'll see what the offense can do. Keel is going to take it up. He crosses over, and that's going to be a foul going against Jones. I didn't see it. Our backs were to them. But it looked like they're going to get him with a push. Sorry, their backs were to us, rather. But for now, Pflugerville with that last basket from Jones. We cut it down to 10, 439 remaining here in the third. Austin with it on the outside. He's going to cross to the left, kick it into the corner. That's knocked away. Burns recovers, gets it to Mitchell. He's got a three-on-one, but he's going to take it all the way and short-arm the layup. It's no good. Langley clears it, gets it to Wagner, and that's going to be a foul in the back. They bumped Wagner. That's not, a, that's not a great foul going the other way, but it'll slow things down. And Jones picks up two quick ones, and Barry's going to have to check in. Relax, relax, everybody. That's going to be the sixth going against Pflugerville. So Anderson's going to be shooting here going forward. Anderson with just four, so they're, they're still up there. Pflugerville will probably be in the bonus before this quarter's up. Harris, he finds a cutting Austin. Austin through contact, no good. Langley is there, gets the layup, gets it to go. More offensive rebounding. Anderson cooking on the glass right now. They're up by 12. 
haven't been able to get much separation. And But on the other hand, Pflugerville hasn't been able to cut into this deficit too much as of late. It's hovered right here around 12 to 8 points. See if the Trojans can get a stop now on this end. Burns with it. He's working his way to the right. Crosses over on Langley. Loses it between his legs. No one was there to pick it up for Anderson. They get it inside. Oxturn just puts it on the court. That's going to be a jump ball, and it'll go back to Anderson. He just lost it going to the basket. It's 35 to 23. It's the third team foul that sent Jones to the, or the third personal that sent Jones to the bench. Wagner working on Chavez. He'll push past. Get into the front court. Now back here's Langley. Back to the basket around the three-point line. Now he faces up. Back to Austin. Austin's going to get a look at it from downtown. He knocks it down. Jaden Austin, a couple big baskets in this game. He's up to eight points. That forces a Pflugerville timeout. Anderson has the largest lead they've had of the ball game. It's 15. We're going to go ahead and send it to break. You're listening to Trojan Basketball on Vibe Live. We will be right back. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Back in, out of the timeout. It's a full one on the court. Jaden Austin knocking down that big three-point basket. Puts his team's lead to 15 here with under four minutes to play in the third. Pflugerville, it's their time to respond coming out of the timeout. It'll be Burns and Mitchell with them. K.J. Barry, Sam Oshner, and Rain Chavez bringing up the rear for Pflugerville back there. Chavez, a three-point bomber, <laughs> as Mitchell just roll, gets that all the way up the court before picking it up. Here's Mitchell. He crosses over, steps back. Looked like a travel, but good defense from Langley. Francis on the box out. He's back in. He crosses over, and he's going to try and make it across court now. He passes ahead to Keel. Keel puts it on the ground, works his way to the left, goes up, and he's going to be fouled. Is that going to be a blocking foul? But it doesn't matter. It'll be two shots on the seventh. No, it'll be a one-and-one, one rather. But either way, seventh foul. So one-and-one, one. maybe two shots. We'll see. Keel's coming up a little hobbled. Like, the contact hurt him a little bit. And that's going to be the fourth foul on Ashton Mitchell, so he'll have to come out. That's a tough one for them. He's been the catalyst to their offense so far in this game. Hasn't gotten a lot of rest. As Keel's first shot is good. <laughs> Looks like they got him on, it, it on the shot, so it'll be two, two shots either way. High arcing shot, good for Gross Keel. He's up to six points in the game. Anderson's up to 40, and the lead is now 17. Wheel's starting to come off for Pflugerville. Uh, four, looks like he's about to roll it to himself, but never mind. They're going to make it. Uh, they're going to make it Burns to take it up. They're enjoying the uh, the roll up. I love that move. One of my favorites in sports. T.J. Jones attacks the basket. That's going to be a travel. Yep. Good call. Under three minutes to go here. Anderson with the ball. They lead by 17. It's their chance to start to push that lead even further. They get it to Austin. Austin's double teamed in the backcourt. That's going to be a jump ball. So that's, a, that's basically just a turnover there. Here's Burns. On the inbound, he's looking for somebody. He's able to find Jones. Jones with eight points in the game so far, and they get it back to Burns, who has just two. Jones has three fouls. Get it to Chavez. He's going to try from downtown. He can't hit this one. He's 0 for today. As that rebound falls to into Oxner, he can't get the layup. They get it to Black. Wagner is there. They get it ahead to Nick Harris, who's all alone. He's going to go up for the lay. Finish through contact. Looks like it could have been an end one, but Nick Harris finishes nonetheless. Two points for Anderson. Lead is up to 19. Jones attacks the basket. He won't get it to go, but he gets his own board, and he's going to get Black going up, and that's an and one. 
a good play by TJ, getting his own miss and getting Black up in the air. He's going to have to calm down. He doesn't want to draw a tech. It's tough. Bite on the pump fake. Get the and one. Put on you. Now just 17. TJ Jones looks to make it a 16-point game. He has 10 points, a team high for the Panthers. That one's good. Some subs here. Auctioner is going to come on out. Felipe Valls is back in. We get Wagner cutting off the screen. Pass ahead. Here's Harris. Now it's three on two. Fast break for Anderson. Langley kicks it to the corner. Jaden for three. No good. House would have come down after that one. Here's Jack Francis with the offensive rebound. So Anderson getting another possession out of this. And Benito Black's getting ready to check in once again. They just brought him out for a brief rest. Talk things over. Here's Harris. They get it to Francis. Works his way back up top. Minute 45 left here in the third. Screen comes. Jack doesn't use it. He's going to attack all the way. Gets to the basket. Lays it in with the left. Jack Francis. Nine points for him. After a quick start. It's been pretty quiet here offensively. As Jones is no good on the three. But Jack has been doing a good job of rebounding tonight. Gets it. Turns. Spins. He's going to take it into Austin. That's a tough pass. It's going to go out of bounds. Austin, Langley going to check out. So it's Blackerby, Wagner, Francis, Harris, and Black for Anderson. Saw Bennett a little bit, like for f literally four seconds in the first half. Now we're going to see him in some extended time here in the third quarter. Here's Barry with it outside. Attacking, gets it out to Chavez. Now back up top. Jones going to try it from downtown through the contest from Blackerby. But here's Black. He gets it to Wagner. And Wagner's going to get out and run. Crosses back to the center of the court. Back to one minute left here in the third. Now here's Jack. Jack left open. Four, three. No good. In and out. There's some tough looks on some of these last couple threes as Burns takes it all the way. Excellent. Thirty seconds left. We know what the Trojans like to do here. Here's Harris. Got a team high of twelve. It's been a big second half for Nick. Jack's behind him with nine. Jaden behind both of those guys with eight. Jack crosses over. I know he wants this shot. He gets it to Wagner. Thirteen seconds. Back to Francis. Ten seconds. Jack crosses over, crosses over again. Going to get into the lane, kicks it to the corner. Bennett Blackerby for three. No good. Rebound goes to Jones. Jones almost lost it. He does lose it, and that's just going to be the end of the quarter as his heave comes up short. So a nice showing in the late third quarter for Anderson. Gets them a good lead entering the fourth here. Trojans lead by 16. Going to take a break here between quarters. We'll be right back. Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to VipeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe.com. Back in, out of the timeout. It'll be Trojan Ball entering the fourth quarter. It's going to be Marlowe getting the inbound. He gets it to Jack. Anderson able to here, get it across the midline. There's Jack Francis. He's going to attack the lane. Steps back from the elbow. Can't get it to go. That's an air ball. Ashton Mitchell with it, and that's going to be a foul going against Marlowe underneath.
Mitchell. He's got it. He's back in the game with those four fouls. Chavez is going to fire. He finally gets one to go. That's his first basket of the night. It's a three-point attempt. Anderson forced to call a timeout. They don't want Chavez getting free looks like that. That's the worst thing when there's a, a guy who likes to shoot the ball, don't want to get him any open looks. Otherwise, he's going to start to feel himself. So with the timeout on the court, go over at Fleurville. T.J. Jones leads them with 11. Ashton Mitchell's behind him with 8. Mardarian Burns just got his second basket in the closing minutes of the third. He's got four. K.J. Barry and Rain Chavez both filled up a three-pointer. They have three. Felipe Valls just with two. For Anderson, as we mentioned, Nick Harris leads with 12. Jacks with nine. Jaden Austin has eight. Gross Keel and Benito Black both have six. Nate Langley also has a layup of his own. He has two. So 7.41 left in the game. It's time for Pflugerville to make a move. Marlowe, he's able to get it into Francis. Jack almost lost it. Pflugerville wants a travel, but he didn't have it, so it's not a travel. You do not have the possession. Counts as a loose ball. They get it into Benito Black. Now back outside. Marlowe's going to try his hand at a three. That's no good. Rebound goes to Mitchell. They pass ahead. Here's Chavez. Back to Mitchell. He's going to go Euro step inside. Keel tried to get him with a big block. Mitchell gets his own board. That is out to Jones. It's no good. Rebound inside to Pflugerville. He loses it. Benito Black is there. Here's Austin. Up ahead to Francis. One on one. Jack lays it in. Nice job by Jack Francis. Finishing that layup on the other end pushes his team's lead back up just a little bit higher. It's 46 to 31. They lead by 15. Once again, going to go ahead and keep it here through the timeout. Seven minutes left. 7.06 to be precise. precise. So Anderson looking at the clock here. They're out of fouls to give. So from now on, Pflugerville will also be shooting some free throws. Anderson is currently in the bonus. Pflugerville with seven team fouls going against them. Jack now with that layup's the second Anderson player into double figures. He's got 11 points in his playoff 2021 debut. Remember a sophomore part of that team that made the run last year. Got all the way to the quarterfinal round before losing to Brandeis. And that was like, I think they got through one more round of games before they had to suspend the season back a year ago because of uh, the very, very beginning of the pandemic. But now we're here a year later. As Jones is going to pull up from the elbow, it's no good too strong. Harris. Keel in the corner. Thinking about it. Said he's just going to take it back. He's working his way around the perimeter. That's going to be a five-second violation. It's close defense. So they're rolling it up. Try to go pressure him to pick it up because the biggest thing Anderson needs to do is milk clock. They lead by 15, under seven minutes left, no shot clock. So here's Jones, Wagner in defense. No, excuse me, that's Barry. They get it inside, there's Burns. Burns, his jumper, no good. Rebound comes to Harris. Good board, strong rebound. As this pass is loped ahead to Francis, they forgot about him. Jack, layup, 13 points for number five. That's going to be a foul as Mitchell heads to the basket. He comes up a little injured. He's staying down there on the court. Hopefully he can make his way back up. He's got four fouls. Remember uh, back in the first quarter when Jaden Austin had that, like, game seven LeBron chase down block? That was fantastic. Got to talk about something as we get through this. As Mitchell, he's, uh, he's getting up. He's able to... Hop up under his own power. Looks like he might have pulled something or maybe got just some cramping going. But he's all right. Reaching down at that lower leg area. Six minutes left. Free throw's coming. 
Now it looks like Mitchell will check out. And I'm not sure the rule on this, but if you can't shoot your own free throws, I think that disqualifies you for the rest of the game. That is definitely the rule in the NBA, but of course this is not the NBA, and I'm not exactly sure what that specific rule details. So we'll see, uh, we'll see him if Mitchell's able to check back in, but for now, TJ Jones, he hits the first. Leads back down to 16 for Anderson. 48 to 32. It's down 14, excuse me, now 13. 15 there. That was right the first time. As they get it in, almost turns it over. Wagner is going to have to push ahead. He's going to have to get it across. There he goes. Wagner back across. Here's Harris. Back Jaden. Looked at the three. He's not going to take it. No need to right now. Austin. Puts his back to the basket. Finds a cutting. Nick Harris is going to get the layup. Wow. As a team, Anderson is pretty dang good at cuts. Because here's Barry. He's going to launch a quick three. That rattles in and out. Tough break for them. As that one saved and bounced right over the hands of Francis. Now Chavez, he's going to take it one dribble. No good. Rebound inside Burns. And that's got to be an offensive foul going against Burns. And both officials signal for it. And it'll go the other way. Anderson now with the ball, leading 50 to 33. Under six minutes left. It's looking pretty good right now for the Trojans. Just have to play smart. Francis on the inbound. He's looking for somebody. And he can't find anyone. And they're just going to have to call a timeout. Anderson still with three timeouts. Now just two after that one. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a break of our own. It'll just be a quick one. That'll just probably be a 30-second timeout. So we'll be right back after the timeout. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events, for more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Here we are, back out of the timeout. Anderson will have possession. They called a quick 30 just to avoid that five-second violation. So we'll stay underneath here. Burns in defense on the inbound. He's got four points in the game. Austin, oh, he had Austin off the cut and said he's looking for Wagner. Now he gets it to Austin. Francis, a little indecisive there on in the inbound. As Chavez tumbles to the ground. Here's Austin. Nick Harris, corner three is good. And Nick Harris going to walk that off holding the follow through. 17 points for Nick Harris. And that just about puts the game on ice. Anderson up 20, and they're going to wave it off. They're going to put it on the floor, though. Either way, free throws. So 53 to 33. Jones is going to head to the free throw line. Jones gets it to rattle in. It's team trails right now, but it's been a good game for TJ. That free throw is up to 14 points on the night. Nick Harris going to check out to a big ovation from this crowd and his teammates. It's been a heck of a game for Nick Harris. 17 points for him so far. Probably still see him towards the end of this game. Jones, not a lot of rotation, but he's able to knock these down. Leads down to 18, 53 to 35. 522 remaining. Anderson looking to close it out. They have the ball. Both teams with eight team fouls. They're trying to get it in here. Austin falls down. They're just going to have to get it into Wagner. They do. Tough play. Skips across to Francis. Crossover. Crossover. Jack likes to bust that out. It's really nice. <laughs> Tries it again. Screen comes from Langley. Won't use it. He'll just get right around Chavez. He'll take it all the way to the basket. Can't get the floater to go. And Burns has the rebound. He passes it too far for Jones. And Jones is just going to have to climb the wall. Yeah. 
Anderson still with an 18-point lead. Francis will be the one to inbound. Looking for Austin. They're going to find Keel, but it's tapped out and stolen away by Ashton Mitchell. He's going to attack the basket, go in on Keel, and he fell down, but they're going to get Keel for the bump. We got Keel for the block and fouls. Two more free throws coming up for Pflugerville. So it'll still be one and one. Mitchell gets it to go. He's been limited here mostly in the second half with foul trouble. He has four right now. And that foul, by the way, was the fourth on Keel. So next one and, and Gross will be disqualified. Still five minutes to go. Pflugerville chopping away at this lead. It's down to 16 with the two foul shots. Ashton's into double figures. He's got 10. Him and TJ have combined for 25 points. The bulk of the scoring here tonight. It's Francis looking for somebody. He finds Keel. They're going to get it right back to him. Lob is ahead to Wagner. And now Anderson's going to be able to get it across and take some time off the clock here. Langley. Looks to get it inside. Here's Francis. And that's going to be a foul underneath going against Mitchell. And he's done. So Ashton Mitchell fouled out of the game there. And that'll send Jack Francis to the line for, for a one and one. But now both teams uh, will be in the double bonus as that is the ninth team foul going against Pflugerville. Lead is just down to 16. Pflugerville's chipped away at it a little bit. It was up to 20. First free throw is good. Nails. Francis steps to the line, and he makes it two for two. So Pflugerville ball after the two made free throws from Francis. Back outside, here's Jones. He's going to attack the basket. He's trapped. He's able to get it to Jones. Jones goes up over Langley, and they're going to get Langley for the whistle on the upswing. First free throw is no good. Leads back to 18. They need all these that they can get. TJ Jones, 15 on the night. And this one, he goes 0 for 2. Tough look. Both of them were close. As Benito Black turns it over right to KJ Berry. Jones going to get into the lane for a pull-up jumper. No good. Rebound Harris back to Francis. Anderson going to try and push just a little bit here. Jack's going to take it all the way to the basket, lays it up, and one. Oh, they're going to get an offensive foul? No, they're going to call it and one. Jack Francis, they'll give it to him. They'll give it to him. But the way the official ran in and pointed, it looked, it looked like he was pointing the other way, and he was pointing at the spot on the court. Made me nervous. I was not, not, was not excited about Jack having his points taken away from him there. But it's okay. He's still up to 17. He now ties Nick Harris, who's back into the game after sitting for a little bit. It's back to starters for Anderson. Four minutes left here. Trojan lead, 21. So a much better showing in the second half for the Anderson Trojans. They lead by 21 here late. It looks like they might pick up this victory here. Still got plenty of time left. Well, not plenty. Got a very limited amount of time left as TJ Jones is doing work. He gets to the basket. 17 for him. 
And that's a lazy pass stolen away by Ochsner. They get it inside. Layup is good underneath for Burns, and Anderson's going to have to burn a timeout after those two quick baskets. They had it to 21. Now it's down to 17. Timeout Anderson. That press haven't been able to completely solve it. They've still been turning it over. Just need to stop with some of these more lazy, softer passes. And that'll, that'll keep a minute here. Both teams now in the double bonus. Anderson just with one timeout remaining. Pflugerville still with two. 3.49 left in the ballgame. Looking here to move on to the area round. Still in the timeout, taking a full one. Getting ready to break out here. It will be starters minus Benito Black plus Gross Keel. Gross with those four fouls, got to keep an eye on that. This here's Francis. He's going to get the ball. Wagner flashing. They get it to him right away. Double team. They roll it into Francis. That's going to go out of bounds off of Pflugerville. That's a tough break. Anderson having some trouble with this press. And the fourth quarter is just inching along, just taking a long time to get moving. Just with all these fouls and with all these turnovers. But here's Wagner. Gets it to Francis. Francis is going to be able to get around Jones. He had a lane, but he pulled back there. Now he crosses over. He's going to be able to take it across himself. Francis over to Keel. Burns in defense on Keel. Working his way around, he pulls up, swings it back across, dangerous pass goes to Francis. Jack's gonna pull in. Jaden Austin, could this be the dagger? Yes, sir! Jaden Austin, his third three-point make of the night. He's into double figures with 11, and the Anderson lead is back to 20 with just three minutes remaining. As that pass is stolen from Keel, he lobs it ahead, drops it in the bucket to Francis. Jack recovers. He's gonna step back with it. And back up top to Keel. He lost it. He hands it off to Jaden. Austin with it at the top of the key. Passes it to Harris. Now Keel in the corner. They find a cutting Wagner. Mike all the way to the basket. And one. Mike Wagner picking a heck of a time to score his first points of the ball game. It's an and one bucket to push the lead to 23 for the Trojans. Of course, Mike will have to convert first. Keel's going to check out after picking up that steal. They get it to Black. He'll replace Austin underneath the basket. 2.42. Anderson with a 22-point lead. Wagner can't connect, so it's just 22. But still the largest lead of the night for Anderson. Felipe Valls with it outside. <clears throat> TJ Jones, 17 points for him. He's working on black. He's going to pull up. That's no good. Hit the side of the back board. Austin passes ahead. Here's Nick Harris. Got his man in the air. That's going to be and one once again for Nick Harris. He takes a chest bump from Wagner. Nick's going to head back to the line to make it a 20-piece for number one. Anderson not taking their feet off the gas right now. They're still attacking the basket off of the press. It just basically creates a fast break. As Nick Harris, 20 points for the senior, the big man underneath. Here's Jones pushing ahead. Vols, tax baseline. Harris picks him up, cuts it off. Back outside, here's TJ Jones. He's going to cross over. He spins into the post. He goes up with it. That's going to be and one and going against Nick Harris. So right back at you. Take that, Nick. TJ Jones, 19. Keel checking in for Benito Black. Nick Harris going to check out after the 20-point game. 2.10 left. Langley's in and Keel is in, along with Wagner, Francis, and Austin. It's been a good game for these guys. They now have a 23-point lead. 
cut that down by one as TJ Jones gives us a 20 piece of his own tonight. Now here's Mike Wagner. Back to Jack Francis, just two minutes remaining here in the ball game. Let's look for Jack to get another basket here to make it a 20 points for him too. Here's Keel, waving him off and they're gonna get him for a carry. We're gonna take Keel out after the carry. Tough call. 155 left in the ball game. It's been a pretty long one. At Third and fourth quarters really took their times. A lot of uh, not a lot of rhythm in the game. As they get the handoff in here, here's KJ Barry. He's going to take the three. That's no good off the backboard. Rebound into Wagner. To Langley. Wagner gets it. He goes behind his back, and they passes it to Benito Black, who's going to attack. He's going to try and skip it. It's no good. Langley has it. He gets it to Francis. Francis is going to try the layup, and Jack's got 20 himself. Anderson. 68 in the game. Barry pulls it back. Francis has it. He saves it inbounds to Benito Black. Benito's going to take it himself. Eurostep gets the layup. He can't connect. Missed the lay. Benito can't get it to go. Just over a minute left. Valls loses it attacking. Wagner stole it. Langley recovered it. Austin holds it. He skips it ahead. Here's Francis. Skip across. Here's Black. Black working his way into the paint. It's poked away from behind. They've got two on one. Here's Barry. Not great spacing there as Wagner just knocks it away and they're gonna get a foul going up against Langley. Not sure what they were trying to do. Two guys were running right next to each other on a fast break. TJ Jones has the line here. He's listed as a junior, so he'll be back for this Pflugerville team next year. Because we will have mass subs. So that'll do it. Everyone's headed out. And they'll get a standing ovation from this crowd here in Pflugerville. Anderson picks up the W here. 45 seconds left. Their lead is 23. Don't think, a, don't think we'll see a comeback. So Rodrigo Perez, Parker Shelton Lamb, Jack Stusser, James Ashimway, and Jason Jamail have checked in for the final 45. Ladies and gentlemen, we have garbage time. First free throw, excuse me, the second free throw is good. The first was no good. Here's Ashimway. He loses it to attack in the basket. He had a lane, but Ashimway's going to take it in anyway. He lost it again, and this time he finally loses it inside to Victor Osuji. Here's Mr. Burns. He kicks it to the corner. Open look from downtown from Kellen Regosa, and he connects on his opportunity there. 49 to 68. There's Parker Shelton Lamb. He gets it to a Shimway. Shimway's going to pull it back. He's going to skip it across. Here's Perez, and that will do it. The Anderson Trojans pick up the victory here in the by district round. They win this one 68 to 49. We will have the area game. I believe they're, the plan right now is to take it within the next couple days. So we'll have word on the area round very, very shortly as Anderson on the court now celebrating their by district win for the second year in a row. The Anderson Trojans are by district champs. They'll move on to the area round where they will be playing the winner. Hold on. There we go. Playing the winner of Lake Creek and A&M Consolidated. That one will tip off in just about half an hour. So we'll, we will know by the end of today who's going to catch that, uh, going to catch Anderson in the next round. But good W for the Trojans by district champs here. We're getting ready for uh, Hendricks and Crockett coming up in a minute. Unfortunately, won't be able to stay and watch that one. But that'll do it for us. I have been Jack Farrell. It's been a lot of fun getting 1-0 in the playoff slate so far, moving on to the next round. And Anderson will see the, the winner of Lake Creek and AM Consolidated. We'll get the time on that as soon as we can. And with that, I just want to thank everybody out there for listening. Sorry we had so much trouble connecting the broadcast tonight. It's been a site-wide issue, and also the Weiss Gym sometimes can have a little bit of connectivity issues, but we were able to even it out a little bit there in the second half and finish pretty strong. But thank you for listening to Anderson Trojan Basketball on Vibe Live. Hope you all have a great night, a great week. Stay safe, everyone.
Hope you all have a good night.